So the first process is defibrizing the paper. So the paper's put into the hopper at the front of device and it's defibrized, it's mechanically broken down. And this is far more secure than shredding. Any information that's on the paper at this point is completely and utterly obliterated. So it's really, really secure. And from here, there's a binding process. So the colorants are removed and then the fibers are bound back together using an Epsom process called Paper Plus. And this can also at this stage introduce new colorants. So it could be that your paper is yellow or blue. So there's the colors in here as well, or it could just be white. So then those paper fibers are deposited on a thin layer and then it's formed. So under pressure, the paper is formed into sheets. And as it exits the paper, just before it does, it's then cut to size, whether it be A3 or A4. So that's the technical process. What about the benefits? So this machine has real value. So firstly, it comes in the form of security. As I've already mentioned, the process completely obliterates any information that's on that paper. So it's not like shredding, where you can get your sellotape out and tape it back together. There is no discernible information on that. It grinds the paper down into a pulp, almost like cotton wool. And from there, no information can be gleaned. And also, because it's remaining on site, it's not leaving the premises, there is no ability for information to leak out prior to that process occurring. So the second is sustainability. And again, as I've already covered, the key part about this device is removing the supply chain. So massively reducing the amount of carbon that's produced. So although clean new paper is always required in a process such as this, in a recycling process, the amount of times that the paper can be recycled within the office with new paper injected means that this process is far more efficient and uses far less carbon because all those stages of moving the paper around just aren't required. So a key benefit from that is the reduction in carbon emissions. There is a huge reduction in carbon because those events of moving the paper around just aren't required. So it massively reduces the amount of new paper required as well. And then from a productivity aspect, we're able to create paper on demand. To start off with, it produces paper at the rate of 12 pages per minute. So that's 720 pages per hour. And the first page comes out in about three minutes. And what color would you like that paper? Again, on-demand paper creation. So the paper can be colored from within the device and also varying thicknesses. So this will produce paper that's suitable for office use, for standard paper for the copying devices or printing devices. And also it can produce thicker cardstock. So up to 240 gram cardstock. So the benefits of this device have come from Epson's innovation. Epson spend five to 6% every year of our revenue and put that back into innovation. It's absolutely what we do, it's who we are. We develop our own products in-house and this device, again, is absolutely part of that. And again, one of the benefits of having it in-house are that we can take feedback and quickly adapt the machine. We can really develop it and hone its use for exactly maximum efficiency. At Epson, we value the traditional spirit of Monazakuri. This is the art and science of manufacturing. And Paper Lab embodies that. It really does, again, because of the in-house development. So what does it mean for us now? Well, in Europe, the product's still a little while away. So autumn 2018 is when this product will be available for market in Europe. Paper Lab is aimed at offices as it stands, but the idea is we can develop this product into consumers' homes even, but certainly industrial and commercial processes. The idea of this is to be absolutely indispensable to people's lives. That is the value that Epson seek to be able to add. So for the future, within about three to five years, we aim to make this device more compact so it can sit alongside one of our high-speed business inkjet devices. So within the office, you can really have a recycling movement from device straight to recycle, back to device. There's real value in being able to offer this as a, a behavioral change within the office. And while we recognize that this is a behavioral change, it's a habit change, we aim to be able to deliver the devices to empower our users to be able to offer this.